episode. So a different scene today. I'm shooting on my lunch break and I just wanted to talk about um, using the Canon 300 f 2.8 for softball photography. So I have an album on my Flickr that I put together this morning from the past weekend of using the lens for two out of six games. Typically for softball, I will use the 70 to 200 and the 24 to 70 on the two cameras. And that gives me something to cover the whole field and then something to cover the dugout with the wider angle. Um, but having to go back and forth between baseball, I had the 300 on one of the cameras, so I figured I would shoot a little bit and I kind of liked it. So then I brought it back the next day and shot some more. So I'm just gonna go through the photos that I took with it and talk about the pros and cons for me using that lens for softball. So the one thing I had to get used to is shooting from the spot that I normally cover softball from, which is the dugout. And I use the dugout probably too much, but I'm able to get all the positions covered from that one spot. But really I need to move around more. It's still early in the season, but I know personally I need to move around more to get variety of my photos. So shooting the batter, it's a little, um, it's much tighter. You're cutting the ankles off. So you're doing a little bit of crop in post to not make an awkward ankle crop. And so I usually crop up above the knee or depending on how tall they are, depends on how much I've got to crop it. But it works very well of getting a nice tight shot of a batter, which is not a bad thing. It's nice to have those tight shots and not show the catcher in case they win, you know, uh, hitter of the week or something. You don't have the other team in the photo for the graphic and stuff. So, you know, I, I use it occasionally, but um, then at third base, and then I move to the next few photos, you could see a red haze at the bottom of the photo. That is because I'm shooting from the dugout on top of the bench and over the dugout uh, fence shooting towards the field. So there's a little bit of a red um, hue coming off the bar that's on top of that fence blocking the players from getting hit from foul balls. Um, but I like the tight portraits that you can get with the 300. So it's nice there. It's a little tight for pitching. And you will see that as I go through these photos that I am cropping off the body. So it's more of like a little above the knee. And then if they're extending up with the ball, um, you can get it in frame. It's just a little tougher. You have to be ready for their movements. I feel like the best thing about the 300 is getting them tight portraits of like expressions coming off of them after a big hit or something. So if they're at home and they're cheering, it's a nice tight shot. I don't have to crop and you get that nice separation. So they pop a little more, especially if you're shooting at F 2.8 or F four. I did bounce back and forth between 2.8 and F4 the weekend because we had plenty of light. So with the 7200 and the 300, I was uh, closing my aperture down a little bit just to have a little more in focus. So I think the biggest con of going through these photos and realizing what I've got and what I didn't get is the minimum focusing distance when they get to third base. Um, it missed focus because it's too short or it was just such a tight shot that I missed as they're running two third from second sometimes. And then also like cutting off the batter's ankles. Um, wasn't a fan of that. I probably could have backed up and got behind the wall to shoot the batters to fit them in frame um, with the 300. But I opted to just shoot from where I was shooting from and then crop after the fact. So it wasn't an awkward ankle crop. The pros, I would say, are getting the up close and like tight expression shots, like I said earlier. Just getting them shots of celebrations or them getting ready to bat or any of the mound shots when they're about to start the inning, they do like their little huddle. Um, it's nice to have those tight detail shots that I don't have to crop into. Um, that way, um, I don't know, it just seems better not to have to crop as much. The 300 is great for also the outfield. The 7200 does perfectly fine covering the whole field. 
but right field being a little further away, having the 300 or even center field, it's great having the 300 and being a little closer, not having to crop as much. Left field, it's not an issue at all with the 7200, but it's just nice having that extra reach. I feel like an ultimate lens for softball would be a 120 to 300 or a 100 to 300 um, because being able to zoom out for all the other shots I talked about, the 300 being too tight. So this is the one time where I feel like a zoom for me would be better, um, which is why I typically pull to the 70 to 200. But to change things up occasionally, the 300 nice. I will be shooting more with the 300 in the future. I have a few shots that I know the 300 would be very, very good for. And those would be behind home plate shooting the pitcher with the 300 straight on. I feel like would be a really, really great photo. Um, getting that tight shot of them about to wind up or going through their wind up pitching the ball. I also feel like the 300 would be decently good. We will see um, shooting from outfield um, behind the wall towards the infield. So when they're batting, shooting from like center field or left field or right field, um, wherever I can see um, a better angle of the batter and maybe getting some straight on batting shots. I feel like it's an angle I don't cover much. I think I did that a couple years ago with a rented lens, but I'm gonna try it with the 300 and see if those are usable. Probably gonna have to crop a little bit, but we will see and uh, might have to bust out a little ladder to get over the fence for that one. But I'll be trying that out at the next softball games when they are at home. Um, but overall, the 300 is definitely a usable lens. People probably use it all the time. It's just new to me because I typically go to the 70 to 200. But you will find pros and you'll find cons and you'll have to figure out what works best for you. And I think if I'm trying to get some detail shots or reach a little further in the field without having to move, the 300 is perfect. But Overall, the 7200 kind of covers softball perfectly fine. Now, when it comes to baseball, obviously a 300 is what I'm using 100% of the time because the field is much, much bigger. But with that said, I'd appreciate it if you would like, subscribe. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments down below. And if you have any suggestions on any videos that you want to see in the future when it comes to sports photography or film photography or just gear, uh, put that down there below as well, and I will see you all next time.